This is Dr. Ed Calfan, and I will be presenting a video on arthroscopic surgery for internal impingement in a pitcher's shoulder. Please be advised, this video contains graphic surgical images. This is a view of a right shoulder from behind. The probe shows a partial tear of the rotator cuff. Partial tear of the rotator cuff in combination with a tear of the labrum in the back and top portion of the socket, as is seen here, is termed internal impingement and is often found in pitcher's shoulders. As can be seen here, when the shoulder is taken into a cocking position, there's tension being placed on the undersurface of the rotator cuff which may lead to tearing, and the humeral head or ball portion of the ball and socket joint rubs up or impinges along the glenoid and the labrum on the top and back portions of the socket. We're now viewing this from the front of the shoulder. The partial tear of the rotator cuff is to the left and the tear of the labrum is to the right. Because these tears are not repairable, they are debrided. These are stable tears. Debridement involves removing abnormal tissue. We now see that the labrum and the partial tear of the rotator cuff have been debrided. We complete the debridement from the front of the shoulder. We now take the shoulder through a range of motion and we can see that there's no impingement of abnormal labral or rotator cuff tissue in the cocking position.